It is the 2nd of the 11th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on Scott.net. Sub-zero temperatures coupled by early snowfall have killed 14 people in Poland. Uh, is that a Warsaw? Sub-zero temperatures coupled with early snowfall have killed 14 people in Poland over the past week. National Police said on Wednesday. In eight days, we've recorded 14 deaths associated with freezing weather. Bad weather hits British honey production. Wet and cold summer saw honey uh, yields from hives fall by almost three quarters, the British Beekeepers Association says. Scotland's potato harvest at risk of write-off due to poor weather. Just continues. The struggle continues for our crop watch. Uh, crop watch. Uh, this week, uh, particularly in Scotland, where potato crops are at the risk of being left in the ground to rot. Uh, Sack Senior p Potato Consultant uh, was driving through the snow against the backdrop of growers trying to harvest their crops. It's been a fight between the elements and the grower, he says. More crop loss. Earthquake jolts China's Three Gorges Dam. Uh, if you've been following the Three Gorges Dam, uh, they've been warning against this since they started building the thing. And uh, Jakarta shakes as magnitude 5.8 quake hits um, Bandung. And that's just a very active area, West Java. Venice flooded by highest tide since 2010. Water levels rose to a critical levels overnight in Venice as a high tide forced tourists to wait it out in knee-deep water and the city was put on high alert as water was not expected to recede for at least 15 hours. Giant Assumption Parish sinkhole in Louisiana swallows another large chunk of land. Now they've been re uh, reporting, under-reporting, over-reporting kind of thing on ENA News about this. Uh, the massive sinkhole uh, plaguing South Louisiana continues to grow. It has eaten another large section of land. The Assumption Paris Police Jury reported the latest uh, slew on its blog Tuesday evening. Officials stated 20 feet by 80 feet chunk located on the east side of the sinkhole collapsed. It had been several weeks since the giant sinkhole had claimed more land. About 500 square feet of earth was lost on October 9th. And, um, yeah, there's some, some pictures of this coming out. It, it looks a little bigger than that, actually. Hurricane Sandy, death toll reaches 74 in the U.S., and I'm sure this is going to go up. There's a lot of really crazy stories coming out of New York and New Jersey. Power outages now stand at more than 5.6 million homes and businesses, down from a peak 8.5 million. Here's a snapshot of what's happening state by state. The massive storm that started out as Hurricane Sandy slammed into the East Coast and morphed into a huge and problematic system, killing at least 74 people in the United States. Power outages now stand at more than 5.6 million homes and businesses, uh, down from the peak 8.5 million. Connecticut, widespread damage homes on Long Island Sound, deaths 3, power outages 378,000, down from peak of more than 620,000. Uh, reports coming out of Delaware, New Jersey, I mean the whole area, um, gas shortages, and uh, there's a lot of reports and stuff out on that too. So it uh, does pay to be prepared, doesn't it? Cyclo br Cyclone brings heavy rain, displaces 150,000 in southern India. Six dead in India, Sri Lanka. Um, a tropical storm weakened uh, thurs Thursday after slamming into southern India, bringing heavy rain and storm surge and displacing uh, 150,000 people. There's another serious storm going on there. A 150-year-old volcano ash in Alaska apparently kicked up by the winds. There's some pretty dramatic footage of this. Actually, it looks like the volcano erupting. Uh, there's so much ash spewed up into the air, but they're saying no. It was from a, a 1912 eruption uh, that was been uncovered by a glacier loss kind of thing, and the high winds picked it up and threw it around kind of thing. 
over to the extinction protocol uh, more reports coming out of uh, Sandy we need food we need clothing Staten Island residents launch desperate plea for assistance and there's a lot of videos out on that as well I might even attach a couple of crazy ones that I found <clears throat> And gasoline shortages in Northeast U.S. highlights how quickly modern societies will unravel following disasters. Sorry, the cat. Um, yeah, and they've got cops at the police or at the gas stations um, directing traffic and whatnot, uh, all along with um, gas stations running out. They just can't fill them back up fast enough. Over to the radiation stuff, let's just go ahead and do any news real quick. NRC spent fuel pool cooling lost at New Jersey's Oyster Creek nuclear plant during Hurricane Sandy. And we all know that the flood levels got up to above record levels and they had to shut down the intake. Uh, but they were saying the story of the two emergency generators did kick on. Uh, they lost power to the site, but uh, everything's okay. They got extra tanks and all that for that. Um, so. More troubles coming out of Oyster Creek. Associated Press, Japan's only operating nuclear power plant may be closed. May be closed. Uh, they might ask them to shut it down due to uh, the active fault line that they've discovered underneath this, uh, this uh, nuclear reactor actually runs in between two different nuclear reactors at the same site. And uh, they're saying uh, they're, they're deciding whether it's active or not. But uh, they definitely need to shut all these nuclear reactors down. They are unsafe. Uh, criminal charges for promoters of nuclear power? Question mark. Fukushima radiation victims want justice. Something like 10,800 and somewhat people have filed lawsuits um, to try to bring up criminal charges uh, to some of these promoters of uh, nuclear energy and local officials and that kind of thing, the people that have been lying. So uh, the, the legality of this has begun for sure. Uh, this is from Louisiana. Official flyover confirms massive collapse zone at Louisiana sinkhole. And they've got photos and Assumption Paris has got their own YouTube site. I'll go ahead and attach a link to that as well too. Uh, they put out reports so if you watch these videos over time you can definitely see how the, the hole is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, impaired and elderly Fukushima evacuees in need of food and water being charged rent to live in a box. Vending machine signs, quote, don't give up on Fukushima. This has just begun. This has just begun. ABC footage of anonymous worker, radiation injuries after being a Fukushima plant. Major changes to Louisiana sinkhole scene and last flyover, of course. Uh, here's a story. Gas fire still burning 10 miles from New Jersey nuclear power plant after Sandy. Official devastation to system can't be seen from the air. It's beyond imagination. And uh, again, we can't seem to find any fresh photos of these nuclear power plants or, you know, if any damage has taken place, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> there's still a lot going on in New England. Uh, expert, there's another nuclear disaster if operators aren't able to connect temporarily, temporarily equipment in flooding. And um, again, they're going on to the different problems with these very old nuclear reactors. Uh, the same ones um, that went off in Fukushima are the ones in New Jersey. So, of course, the stories go on and on and on. I encourage you to uh, follow e, &E News and uh, try to keep up on what's going on with everything. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.